I'll just uh, get started with the disclaimers, and uh, we're going to talk about the pro scan today. This is not a solicitation to buy or sell any security ever. This is not advice. You should read the characteristics and risks of standardized options. The results here are provided for general information purposes as a convenience to the viewers. The materials are not a substitute for obtaining professional advice from a qualified person, firm, or corporation. Trading futures and options involves the risk of loss. Please consider carefully whether futures or options are appropriate to your financial situation. Only risk capital should be used when trading futures or options. Investors could lose more than their initial investment. Past results are not necessarily indicative of future results. The risk of loss in trading can be substantial. Carefully consider the inherent risks of such investment in light of your financial condition. So we'll do some filtering by strategies. We'll sort, we'll filter, and we'll look at setting alerts and we'll do some kind of portfolio scans, if you will, the pro scanner today too. And then, okay, so I'm just gonna mostly just pull open the back tester and the, go to the pro scanner. When you see this tab, so you kind of start here. If it's the first time you've clicked on it, it will be blank, but then it kind of starts to remember your settings. Up in the top left, you click which ticker group you're interested in. By default, it scans by strategy. And so it'll always be working off of one of these strategies here when the strategy tab is activated. You can also scan by ticker, which we'll do next. But you can pick a group of symbols. You know, all tickers will obviously just give you the whole market. But if you know for liquidity purposes or something else that you want to focus on the S&P 500 or NASDAQ, you can select that here. Then on the left-hand side, you have a lot of strategies to choose from. So by default, Trade Machine generally has a settings of never trade earnings. So our philosophy is that if you're not trying to trade earnings, then probably don't want to hold through earnings. And if you do want to trade earnings, then you should have a specific strategy for earnings. If you're just testing something like a straddle or strangle or fade the dip or anything else, then we tend to just hold those when earnings is not active. And for us, as most of you know, I'm sure, never trade earnings means you would sell the position two days before the earnings event, and then you just reopen the position if all of the other technical conditions are true starting two days after the earnings event. So you don't take that earnings gamble without meaning to. So once you have the strategy loaded, so... At the top here, it's kind of the general bucket of all kinds of different strategies, including, you know, the fade, the dips and the, you know, Bollinger's and, and all of these strategies, the spread, the sell off. These are not earning specific strategies. So that's kind of the largest group at the beginning. And if you want to dive deeper into any of these strategies, you can go to the learn tab and there'll be a specific video and oftentimes are right up on these specific strategies. Below those is we just the only specific only earnings strategy we have is only trade is just long strangles through earnings, but you know you can obviously create your own, and then we have some after earnings strategies, and many times those in addition to being after earnings they will often look back at what the previous earnings event was like in terms of how the stock reacted. So many of those strategies will have something built in such as if the day after the previous earnings move the stock was up. 2% or down 2% or something like that. Not all of them, but many of them use that feature of Trade Machine built in. So that kind of, you get a sense of the momentum coming out of earnings, whether you're looking for, you know, something bullish or bearish. We also have a lot of pre-earning strategies. And a lot of these take advantage of optimism that comes leading into earnings. Oftentimes, there is a hope or a thought, especially in a bull market, that the stock is going to start doing well. So about a week or so before earnings, the stock sometimes will start trending higher. And even if the stock doesn't trend higher, oftentimes people start loading up on options going into earnings. So oftentimes the options themselves can get more valuable going into earnings. And some of the diagonal strategies will kind of take advantage of that, of that buying pattern or that volatility pattern, many times they will sell an option that's going to expire before earnings. So the volatility, the theta, the time value in that option will be dropping off very quickly. And the option that you own after earnings will be maintaining its value or sometimes even increasing in value as people start loading up on options, anticipating that earnings event. And many times that will kind of cause the 
implied volatility of the option to increase and the value of the option to, to increase. So many of these strategies take advantage of that phenomenon, not all, but many. So once you've selected any of these various strategies, um, that's fade the dip AI, et cetera, anything that says AI after it is using this kind of quote unquote skew and kurtosis, the, the tendency of stocks to make large jumps or to have a jump in one direction or another. And there's more to it. And so we kind of give enough information to trade it without trying to go into all the details of that. So once you're at this screen, all of these fields are sortable. So if you wanted to look at the total number of wins, you can do it this way. You can look at win rates, you can look at average percent returns, you know, so those, that's a, you know, can be a powerful way to, to sort these guys. Additionally, you might know that you're looking for things that have done well over a certain time frame, you know, so you might be focused on just the recent, you know, sort of bullish market, or you might say, Hey, I want things that have done well, even when the market wasn't, wasn't doing so great, because I'm not sure how long I think this bull rally is going to last. Um, so you can do it by filtering out these years, you can see either one year, two year or three plus. Some strategies have five or even 10 years, but you know, almost all have a one, a three, and I mean, a one, a two, and a three plus. So there's some additional filters you can put there. Now, a couple more things I wanna talk about. You can also filter these scans. So if you click the filter, you can say, no matter what I'm looking at, I never wanna see a win rate lower than 70%. I want something with a high, you know, that this, this trades tend to you know win at a high percentage. You can say, I want the average trade return to be, you know, 10 or 20%, and that I want the total backtest return to be, you know, you can pick any number you want. Once you apply that filter, it kind of stores the settings in the background. So if you come back to the page, it's going to still show that this, you have these three active filters. If you ever want to change them, you can just click here. You can also clear the filters with this button. But when those are active, then it'll apply that filter to all of these scan results. And so... You know, we have minimum total backtest return set as 80%. And you can see when we sort this column from minimum to maximum, it starts at 81% as the total backtest return. So you can apply these across the board to kind of narrow down the strategies that you're looking at. You'll notice here this kind of alert column. What this alert means, so the, the pro scan tab, just big picture, the way this is working is that we are taking all of these strategies, 30 or more strategies, and we're scanning, you know, every single ticker for these strategies on a very, you know, frequent basis. And we show the results here for, for strategies that have done relatively well. So we don't, we're not showing things that have lower than a 50% win rate or that have a negative return. So we do kind of apply our own you know, filtering in the background to these strategies, just to kind of show you the ones that have had good trends. Anything here that shows an alert, you know, so you could think of, this is a little bit like running a back test instantly. So if you wanted to look at, you know, something basic like long strangles, um, again, all these filters are being applied. I'll just clear the filters. It's kind of like you just back tested the market for this long strangle strategy. And right now I'd be looking at the you know, back to the largest 500, but it's showing you all of the results that, for things with reasonable returns. So these are essentially like back tests that have already run. I mean, they actually very much literally are back tests that have already run um, in the last week or so. And then we've done some filtering on top of it. This long strangle with a never trade earnings, it doesn't have any earnings specific trades. It won't it won't hold it through earnings, but it's not an earnings trade per se. And it doesn't have any technical conditions built into it. So for that reason, essentially, if you like this straddle trade or any of the others that don't have technicals or earnings conditions, they're essentially always ready for entry from the back tests perspective. If you pick one of these strategies and put it into the back tester, it will trade immediately at the start of the back test. So back test, this is the first day of the back test and it trades immediately. Then it, you know, you know, applies all of the conditions and kind of moves forward in time. So if you, if it says that alerts are not required, what this really means is that these are kind of always active. You also notice that the, this triggered will, will always be true as well, because there's nothing, unless, unless you're within two days of earnings, it's going to show that it 
that it's available to you know that it's triggered immediately. And for, for platinum users that you get this show options button, which you can actually see the, you know, individual options down at the bottom after it loads it. And it, this would say, this is how you would enter the strategy. So any of these strategies that you have, you just need a reminder. If you don't need a deep dive into, you know, something like a mammoth or fade the dip, but you just, you know, it's like, okay, well, what deltas are you using or, or what days to expiration? If you just click any one of those, it's going to pull up all of the details. You can say, okay, oh, it's 30 days to expiration. Oh, this is a, you know, it's a 50 delta straddle, not a strangle. So it'll load all of those settings directly. There's no add alert feature because all, all the alert would do is say, okay, you can immediately enter. You know, so that, that, that the alert wouldn't be providing any you know, additional helpful information. However, if you do a strategy that does have technical conditions, this little alert field will pop up. And if you want to look at, you know, high average trade returns or whatever else, then you can start clicking some of these. And now when you add these to the thing, then then you have the ability to add the alerts that way. Yes. Okay. So then additionally, you can also look at these strategies on a per ticker basis. So instead of saying, I want to look at, you know, a fade the dip strategy or something like that, you can look at individual tickers. So you could say, I want to look at AMD, Apple, NVIDIA, et cetera. And I just want to look at the best strategies for these particular tickers of interest to me. And you can apply the same kind of filters. You can say, I want um, a win rate of you know 80% and filter those out. And it'll apply it across all of the tickers that you enter here. And you can build these lists from anything that you want to. So anything that will export a list of tickers in this kind of comma separated or space separated format will allow you to filter those and, and to look at those you know, tickers specifically, and then you can add the alerts, you know, in the same, in the same way here, you can put notes, etc. Let's see here. Okay. Um, yeah. One other thing I wanted to show real quick, and then we can dive into some questions if I have pattern finder. So for anyone that has pattern finder, and I just use this as an example of a way to create a portfolio. If you look at the stock screener down at the bottom, there's a very detailed stock screener with, you know, hundreds of different fundamentals and relative strength conditions and institutional ownership and all kinds of different parameters built in here that you can use to customize a certain, you know, list of tickers. And so once you have a list of tickers created, you can export that list of tickers. And then when you open it up, we can take these tickers and put it into this scanner and start to filter off of those that list of tickers this is one i just dropped in here and now all of a sudden you have a sort of a portfolio almost like a portfolio back test but you can test a lot of different strategies at once and you can say i just want to look at the you know the results that have had you know the best across these list of tickers that i'm interested in you might screen on something fundamental you might take a list of cml pro tickers that have done well and, and look at bullish strategies around cml pro top picks for instance. And then you can, again, just kind of like, you know, go through here and add the alerts, you know, for any tickers that you're interested in that way. So this is a, a large list, but you can, instead of sorting by ticker, you could sort by average return and, you know, pick the strategies with the highest average return and, you know, add alerts that way. So that's kind of a quick uh, overview of some of the features within the ProScan. 